Hey everybody, it's Seth here from Pez Reviews. I know I've been gone for a little while, but what a better way to come back than answering a challenge. Shout out to Mr. Sam's from Sam's Whiskey Bar for calling me out and getting me back in front of the camera. All right, let's get into it. So this challenge was started by SLB and is a call out to say, what are your most unique whiskeys you have in your collection? Like I said, Mr. Sam called me out. I'm gonna go into what I think are the most unique that I have. Now my daytime job is very process oriented. So of course I have a process and a method behind my madness. Although bourbon is my favorite type of whiskey, it's not the only whiskey that I enjoy. With that in mind, I went across my six whiskeys from a scotch all the way to a more traditional bourbon. Let's get into it. First off, we're gonna start with the Fork Lore. This is a single malt Isla Scotch coming in at 96 proof. The name Lore means a body of knowledge. This is a blend of five different small batches aging from seven to 21 years. Cheers. The thing that stands out to me about Lore and got it on this unique list, yes, it's peaty and smoky and you have some influence of that, what I call brine or seawater. So there's a saltiness to it. However, what makes this unique is that I pick up this baking spice that reminds me of Christmas. There's some cinnamon and some nutmeg on that, but also some rich like dark fruits. So yes, I said Christmas and you're probably thinking fruitcake and that's exactly what I get. Bake a yummy fruitcake and you can be till you get some. That went right through me. Next on the list, we're going with Teely Black Pits. This is an Irish whiskey coming out of Dublin and it comes in at 92 proof. It's triple distilled and they use peat to dry out their barley. What makes this unique is that although it is an Irish, that process of drying the barley out with peat gives this complex a layer of smoke without the briny, earthy tones that I normally get from a scotch. Cheers. What got Teeling Black Pits on my list of unique whiskeys is the fact that they do dry out their barley using peat smoke. So although this is an undeniable Irish, you get that buttery sweetness and a little hint of like a green apple. That light smoke that's over the top of it reminds me a lot of like a backyard barbecue. Yep. Yep. It doesn't dominate, but it's definitely there. Next up, we cross the pond and come back to America. I do this with Gully Town Double Barrel Aged. This is an American single malt coming out of Kansas City, Missouri. It comes in at 92 proof, and this spirit is heavily influenced by the process of our making Irish whiskey. Cheers. The immediate difference from the first two to this one is that you're really starting to get a lot more barrel on this. Part of that is due to the climate of this being an American single malt, but also to their double barrel age process. It starts off in a new charred oak barrel and then is finished in a bourbon X barrel. What makes this unique to me is that my brain is really trying to figure out, is this an Irish? Is this a bourbon? Is this a scotch? But whatever it is, it's pretty damn good. Next up on my list is a very unique one that I really like. This is Kings County Kings Code Batch 1. Kind of whiskey aficionado Irene Tan. Collab with Kings County to go across the world and find different whiskeys to come back and blend with their bourbon to give us a pretty fantastic experience. The American whiskey in here is five to six years old and the Irish is about six. The blend is like 18% Irish and 82% American whiskey. Cheers. All right, this one is barrel proof, so it's 60% ABV. So we took a big jump from this last one in proof. What I love about this is even though it's a blend, the Kings County profile does come through. Kings County has this leathery, masculine, oily depth to it that isn't lost in this blend. However, that Irish is sitting there kind of in the background. And as you go from the initial taste to the mid palate to the finish, you get more and more of that influence of that butter cookie and that sweet kind of even crisp apple that you get from a good Irish. All right, we went from a blended whiskey to a finished one. And honestly, it doesn't get much more unique than this. This is two bar bourbon out of Seattle. It's finished in Amaretto barrels from Sons of Vancouver, I think. It comes in at 90 proof and that finish in the Amaretto barrels is what makes this unique. Cheers. First off, two barrel bourbon is a solid bourbon. So you get a lot of that good classic bourbon notes in there. Then all of a sudden there's this finish from the Amaretto and it takes that cherry to the next level. And even though I know it's in my brain, I do start to taste that sour mix that you get in a good Amaretto sour. This one is not only unique, it is the one that I reach for when I'm gonna smoke a full body cigar. That bourbon and that sweet Amaretto finish really cuts through that and allows me to enjoy the best of both each and every sip and each and every pull. Last but definitely not least is Leaper's Fork Bottle and Bond Bourbon. This comes out of Tennessee and was the most surprising bottle that I got in 2023. First off, I love the transparency they have on their label. I could just spin this around, tell you it's 70% corn, 15% wheat, and 15% malted barley. Cheers. 
Man, this one still is super unique to me. It is right down the alleyway of what I love in a bourbon. It's got bold, viscous flavors. I pick up leather and barrel. And since they pick wheat instead of rye, you don't have that competition with the rye spice trying to overpower those bourbon flavors that I love. But on the finish of this, that's where those wheat profile notes come through. I get a lot of cherry and vanilla. This one is fantastic. Okay, well, I haven't done a long form video in a long time. And with the amount of bloopers that I just had, I have anxiety about the editing process. So thank you, Mr. Sam, for the challenge. However, I'll call out a few people that I want to throw this challenge out to and see if they respond. Now, these people are way bigger than I am. And heck, I don't even know if they watch my channel. Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? But I sure as heck watch theirs. First off, because I think he has an interesting point of view from more of an everyday kind of perspective, is Bruzel. If you guys haven't watched any of his stuff, it's pretty fantastic and he cracks me up. Next off is The Average Drinker. Her lives are great and she just has a really no-nonsense look at bourbon and she just tells you what she thinks. And last but not least is Deck Knight on the Rocks. If you want to have a good time, go to their lives. I think they go live on Friday and it's fun. All right, you three, the challenge is out there. Let's see what's the most unique whiskeys you have in your collection. Guys, please make sure you like and comment and subscribe to me. I really want to make more of this content, but I have to know that people kind of like it. And if you guys have had any of these whiskeys, please put down in the comments what you think of them. And do you find them unique as well? All right, guys, until next time.